All right, I thought I would make a quick video here, or at least I'll try and keep it quick, um, about dogs that are in heat. Um, since Harper here, our Redbone Coonhound, just went into heat sometime last night, this morning, yesterday, not exactly sure when, but um, got up this morning and saw there were some blood drips on our kitchen floor. So I thought I would talk about a couple signs that your dog is in heat. Um, well, right there you can see she's licking her butt or her vulva, I guess you would call it. Anyway, yeah, so when they are licking their butt like that, that's a good sign that they might be bleeding. Um, it's not always that you can tell that they're bleeding. Harper likes to clean up after herself pretty well. Um, our German short hair is getting better at cleaning herself up, but she's definitely not as clean as Harper. Um, with her, it's pretty obvious that she's bleeding. There's blood drips all over the mudroom floor. Um, it's pretty obvious to see. But for Harper, she's always licking herself, cleaning up after herself. She's very clean about it. Um, this morning, she was on the sofa and my husband came down and when she would have got up and started walking around in the kitchen is when my husband would have noticed um but yeah so the licking butt thing is a good sign um seeing blood drips is another sign um sometimes they will tend not to eat all their food um harper usually eats all her food no matter what the situation is our GSP will kind of just munch on it here and there, but that's kind of how she always is anyway. Um, one other sign, um, she's definitely more cuddly with our other dog when she's in heat. Uh, they might even hump each other, even though they're both girls. Um, lay on the same bed. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, but you might find them laying on the same bed, you know, being more cuddly more than usual. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for the signs that they're in heat. Um, sometimes you can have silent heats and you really just don't know. But you really just have to keep an eye out. Um, one thing I do like to do is I'll take a paper towel to her butt and just kind of wipe it if I think she might be in heat. And then you can tell a little better um, if there's blood there. Uh, we like to use the washable velcro reusable diapers they work very well just make sure you get a big enough size uh, so yeah i think that's pretty much it for signs of dogs being in heat i uh, can't really think of anything else here uh, but yeah i did also want to talk about breeding if, if you plan to breed and you don't have them fixed and they go into heat and you don't know what to do um, it really varies for each dog. Uh, what I like to do, I like to take them on the ninth day of bleeding. So day one would be the day they started bleeding the first time you saw a sign of blood. Um, day nine would be the earlier day. Uh, the first time we took our GSP, we had to take her back three times before she would actually um, let the mail on her, um, but yeah, day nine's a good start, I think we ended up the first time she wouldn't till day 13, um, but then the second time we bred our GSP, she took on day nine, so I'm glad I took her on day nine, um, I apologize for the kids' screams. so yeah, a good rule of thumb is to start on day nine, if they don't, um, except on day nine, they want nothing to do with the mail. Uh, skip a day and go back, you know, um, in about two days, take him again, see if she's interested. If not, skip a day, go back the next day, and you just kind of keep doing that. And, um, usually when they're ready, they're ready, right? First time we took our GSP, she wasn't ready right away. I, we took her back, like I said, three times. <laughs> um, we took her back three times 
So she did, and then the first time she, she was ready to go on day nine. Anyway, I should wrap this up. My kids aren't having it, but um, another another sign I wanted to mention quick is, Harper, come. Um, another sign I wanted to mention quick is I like to go by the rule of days just to be safe, and if I'm not being very observant, Harper, come. Um, but another sign to know if they are ready. You want to go outside? Um, is that their blood will be more clear instead of a dark red, it'll be more of a clear red. And then that, that usually means that, that they're in their fertile period and that they're ready for some action. So that's pretty much all. Um, I just know when it was my first time, I was kind of nervous and was doing a lot of Googling. So hopefully if you guys find this video, um, it'll be helpful for you. All right. I wanted to mention a couple other things and it was just too crazy. <laughs> and so I didn't get to mention it, but so last thing, um, when breeding your dog, if you decide you want to breed your dog, um, the first time that they do lock in and you know you had a successful breeding, I would skip, I like to skip two days, you can skip one day, you know, skip a day or two and then take them back for a second breeding. Um, they just say sometimes you get more puppies if you do it that way. So that's the way I like to do it. And then to figure out a due date. So it, for a due date, you would take, well, the date of their first mating and then you would add on 63 days and then that would be their expected due date. At least that's an average due date. So give or take a couple of days, possibly. Uh, our last breeding was, I think, yeah, it was like exactly 63 days. So just wanted to add those things in before wrapping up this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we won't be breeding Harper. But I just thought I'd take the video. So, yeah, sorry. We're not going to have any cute puppy videos anytime soon that I know of. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching. And I hope this was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments. Um, I'm not a pro, but I can try my best to answer questions. Say bye-bye.